What games did you play? What games did children play locally? Well, the device is mostly all over. The girls would have different games. They'd be playing the girls would play hide and seek, play ring a ring and rosy, and teak. Did you tell stories about fishing and fire and Yes, we told them. We told them stories. We listened to stories. We listened to the old people. We told us about the fairies and we told us about the leprechauns. More times it speak about the referees and the hill and the war of independence, all those stories. What town is that like from? I'm not uh, from any town, I'm not from the village of Kapawais. I was born and raised in the village. Do you know how the town's land got its name? The village of Kapawais, uh, yes, there's a uh, Kappa, Kappa was the old name for the village. And it seems when the whites uh, came to Kappa House in the around the 1700s, they just claimed that they added the, the name White to Kappa White. Did you, where did you get your water? Uh, we got our water from a pump in the square in Kappa White. And we had a fountain, there were, there were a number of fountains. Uh, throughout the village. Actually, there's one fountain up the road there in front of the town office house. And that's where we got the water. And then we were away down by Keel and Devery's house, down the grass of the deal that was called the ladies' way. And the people from that side just get the water there. Did people emigrate from Central America or elsewhere in former years? Yes, people emigrated to all parts of the the world from that point. I have relations in the Argentine, America, Canada, South Africa and Australia. Can I just ask, long ago when you went to America, how did you travel? When you went to America, long ago by boat. By boat. Boat and ship. In weeks, it was taking about six weeks. And uh, Previous to the big ships, I think it was taken, and the boats had just taken months. Not. And months to get to Australia. It would be six months in the high seas to get to Australia. So there were tougher times than now. Mm -hmm. Did you ever cut turf on the Red Hill? Yes, I cut turf on the Red Hill. I didn't cut turf, but I saved turf, I put the turf and spread turf. If it's a June of the war, 1940, I think it was tough to put the, put the toilet. June the 29, 45 war. And the whole parish went to the war. We used to cut the toilet up in the Red Hill, but more people put the toilet up in Hollyford, and above Hollyford, and overhead Dublin. But the majority of might say that all the people put the toilet up in the Red Hill. And how did they bring it home? Well, it was by in Hudson Cap and Donkey, Donkey Cap, excuse me. <coughs> did you hear any story about a horse getting killed coming down from there? Yes, I saw the horse, I knew the horse that got killed. And uh, the bridge in the All right. The bridge in the, the, the bridge in the road. And the horse ran, he wasn't able to take the, the toll with the bridge. It's the bridge, as we call it. Mm. They were getting over. And there was there the following day when the, the local men did for a lot of years. John Green hit a mule. And they crossed the. Uh, they made a kind of a cut, something like a stairs along the side of the cliff. And got the mule down, and the mule pulled the, pulled the, pulled the horse up, up of the valley. I can remember the same as yeah. yesterday. It was a sad day for everyone, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Was a, uh, I actually, if the horse had, had kept going, if he, if he had, there was no way it was a horse in full flight would get around the car. But if he had, he would have caused enough of the trouble. There were, uh, I think there were three donkeys and cats to work with women and children. Nice. If, had, if he had got around, uh, got around the car, 
Yeah. Yeah. Because we wouldn't have learned to pass. When you came to school in Cape of White, did you wear shoes? We wore shoes, yeah, we wore boots. Mostly. But the, the first day, everybody took off their boots and shoes. Went barefoot. Went barefoot. You had, I know, uh, our, our master, uh, it was Mr. Hallett, he was a Kelly man. He wouldn't want you to see, see a woman in the first day in the school with your boots on. So everybody would be able to. We liked it, we enjoyed it. Where mm -hmm. was the local fair held? The local fair was held in the, from the time I didn't remember, was in, in the streets. But at one stage, it, I think the fair was held in, in the fair region. Uh, Cabo White Fair was supposed to be one of the biggest fairs in Munster. And uh, just have to figure out why it was the biggest fair in Munster. We were not aware of it for anything in the, in the park. And uh, the buyers had to get drovers. They'd be drovers from, uh, from all over. And they'd drive the cattle to the railway station and do them And I think they'd get uh, 10 shillings. And drive the cat and get the white field from the old stage. And then they were loaded onto the wagon to the road to the railway station. Which was the great fair of the year? Well, I'd say the year was fair was known as the, the, the Gooseberry Fair and the Axmans Fair, that was the, fair, the Christmas Fair, they were the biggest fair. Sorry, what did you call the Christmas Fair? The Axmans Fair was known as the Axmans Fair. Right. Christmas Fair. When people would be trying to get a bit of money as most of Christmas, and then there'd be a lot of them shifting the land into the fair. Why oh, is milk Oh, yes. What kind of milk? Um, we used to call it new milk, the fresh milk, milk, and separated milk. People were still to have separated milk. Separated milk uh, came from the clay milk. This milk was separated from the clay. And the farmers would use it for the feeding calves and feeding pigs. So people used to drink it as well. And where did the people in the village get the milk? Um, Carew's in, in uh, we used to get our meat from Carew's in Cattle White. We had, when we had cows, we had a number of cows. My father was sold the cows and he got into the age. And we used to buy meat from Carew's in Cattle White. It was a poor in Cattle White, here in the square. They sold meat to that people in the village. What's meat after eating? Meat, uh, meat was, I wouldn't say half the evening in, in the old days. When people, uh, people, people kept pigs. And they also had a big reward. And I'd say this, uh, which was meat which was not going to be bought on the Sunday. What kind of meat was Jane going to eat? Mostly big. My early days. Fish. Fish, fish uh, the Irish have never known as, as uh, big fish eaters. People just go to the, the rivers and catch trout in that. But any fish I eat in my own days was trout, so we just catch in the rivers. Well, I'd say yes, at weddings. There would be a variety of that food in a wedding cake, which you wouldn't have every day in the week. And you'd have dessert and all those, which wouldn't be normally. 
my time is young for that, you know, now we only have once a week. That's the way I get Cakes, you know, ice cakes, like the blue table. The wedding cake would be ice. So that would be for the blue table, like me at the time, for about this one. So it's still an opportunity to say for about the blue table. When you spoke about weddings, would, would they have been in a hotel or at a house? Oh, they were in houses. I can remember a, a, um, I was best man for a month of mine. I was about 19, I was 14 or 15, the wedding was at the house. Mm. Very few people went to hotels then. Mm. Would the bride have worn a wedding dress or would she have worn a suit? A suit? Mm. Like, well, I, I don't really remember a suit then. I don't remember wedding dresses. Where's the most fun used in tin cups and tin cups? Oh, we used to use uh, tin cups and tin bowls. I can remember them quite well. They were made out of tin. The tin smiths would use to make them. They come around, they come around from door to door selling them. Did you ever drink tea from a jam jar? Yes, indeed, I did drink tea under the Chenja. As a matter of fact, I'd say I drank tea under the Chenja for two years. I was working in the finest basement to play on the Chenja for this year. Nothing wrong with it. Do you remember all the scenes of Father? Yes, I can remember all the scenes. I was big guys, I was in English. I remember the first one I learned was the Ayaka Father and the Moon Father there. That means uh, to get along, Dean, I mean, God knows that he's here in the east of the Grand Bar. Obviously, the Revain Bar is here for the Ega Bar. That means that uh, um, following house went on hard that people trust everything in the foreign countries was much better than the things at home, which were in the truth. Do you believe Local sound, yeah, well, the most, the most local sound would be, I suppose, the lovely cap of white. Well, that's why I best of it, if I can think of the words of it. When I was in old Ireland, my mind was nice and free. I sported with my comrades wherever sport could be in rambling or in gambling I always found delight on in my own dear native home sweet lovely Catholic Uh, the man that composed that song, I believe he was a man, he was an older wire from Friday Club, which could be a couple of miles up this road. He composed it in a place called uh, Syracuse in New York, in America. Do you know any stories about battles, death, and The Land, the land League, they had a very strong Land League organization in the parish, I believe. And uh, we had a brass band in Capoeira, actually, my grandfather played a couple of instruments in it. And they played a sort of the eviction, so the eviction, the Lord do. And they played several evictions, and there were some people evicted from the lower part of the parish. And uh, I think they, when they were evicted, the men be the big huts on the little huts. And about a mile up, a half mile up the road here, I think they were the evicted, they were evicted in the way. They were the road of the evictions. To own the land being. Michael Dandler, the man, the mayor man, was found in the land being. And I think it was started in Kinderman in County Kitchen, the first branch of the land. And why did people play 
Why did they play music at an eviction? They played uh, to give support to the people that they were evicted. Right. You see, at the evictions you had the uh, you had the you had the sword, the sword. Mm. And uh, so they had the uh, what they call battle of the lands. Break down the doors. Yeah. Knock down the house and tore them out. Knock down the house and burn it. Well, I see enough to change it in the, over the years. As, we, as, as I said before, uh, we live from water with a pump in the square. That's gone for years. And fountains, they, they disappeared. Uh, the square, all around the square of my time, the for them was, uh, was covered. So they were the cobblestones with all the rooms. The church was built in the square. Since I was in the church was built in the 60s. And uh, I suppose houses are much the same. In the old part of the village, the houses are the same. Just ask you about going to school in Capital White. Did you wear short breeches? Short trousers, yeah. With braces. Did you wear braces? braces? Again and again. Mm -hmm. What about the school here in Kevin White? Was it was the boys and the girls separate at that time? They were separate, yeah. The boys we had uh, Mrs. Conway was teaching that thing from infant up to second class. And then we went out to the masters uh, top class up to six. And the master the boss at the time all of a sudden scared and you were all the world. You could tap the key in your hand. You can slap. Why are we going to feel slapped? How my my old man, Master Andrew Kelly man, who came here, he used to be punished because of because of two feet off the the handle of a bush. And he had a he had a paint left. We were stopping Steve. I remember we had a big ceremony one day, breaking it, put it up, <laughs> broke it into small pieces. And we had a key in the following day, and we had a little pot for a cake and for a seat. What the hell would you use unless you were guilty or something? The red key. I'm sure you were you know, there were a number of you at the Red Hill. You probably went to the Red Hill, did you? Yeah. yeah. Nice, nice walk to the Red Hill. Yeah. And it's very red. Hill is very red. And that's yeah. why it's called the Red Hill. Yeah. But the, at the foot of the Red Hill, on the road, there's a new road leading down to Faisal. Yeah. yeah. And about 20 years in there, you can see a more heat. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's known as the family board heat. That was born here, uh, it was a, a belief project during the, during the famine years. And the stone, I believe, came from, came from, from uh, New Quarry, which can be seen, New Quarry is still there. And they say a lot of people died making the war here. And the staff that the boy uh, died with the hunger, they were getting a penny a day. The waiters were a penny a day. And the workers were bringing in the state and purified at that uh, death stage were getting a shilling a day. So uh, people, people were, uh, were dying from diseases when it's over. And a lot of people, they say, died, died up there and they were done for him. And uh, I've asked 26 people, all that, all others, in the last 20 months, did they know what the family war here was in the parish? And six people knew. 20 had to know, and there are, there are others. And I'm trying to promote it as much as I could, because I think it uh, should be developed and kept Good. as a tourist, even, a tourist. So, because there was no work in the area and people were so no poor. Work, yeah, during the family. And I think, I'm not sure, I think it was, uh, it 
Just wait how to uh, this room at the moment of the end. Just probably need to stay today. Just to help. Just a way of helping. Out. Yeah. Pinny, I pinny a day with them. That's what that's what we're doing. Okay. And you say many pe people died. You say the same many died, died on the spot. Died, 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 died. Yeah. And the step, the step that just tells the, the Maureen step that just tells you the fox club and the new crow. And the went up, I think, parallel, up the start of the new farm, and then it's on its way up to, towards the red heat. And the famine, it seems, ended in, then, and that was the end of it. And the, it was meant to carry on the Maureen as far as the this road, if I had a road, probably that's what they had in mind. To connect, connect up with the highway. Yes. Now, Paul, you're telling us about the plane crash on the Red Hill. Red Hill. It seems that the pilot, uh, he lost his bearings anyway, and he crashed into the hill. And he was killed instantly, of course. And uh, they were certain they were, they were uh, helicopter system the following day. Fine, because we know we had gone straight around, things went wrong around this district. So, when we heard this, uh, I went up there, and I saw the, saw the pilot inside and in the seat, and he was crouched over right there, and he was, uh, he was uh, a man from Florida, a 26 year old pilot from Florida, in, in America, and he was flying the, the plane from the Isle of Wise to Nairobi in Africa. But they were touching down in China. Two of them, one of them made it. He, 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 he faced the weather. So, a lot of us went up to follow the farm to see them do another crash. And I can remember putting my hand on the, on the pilot's back. You know, the, the trousers on him, he had no shock like this. And he was he was bronze in the sun. Twenty six year old guy. But I can remember the the truck the truck went up there then and bringing down the the plane. A few days after the, the crash. I don't know, in nineteen sixty it was sixty nine. yeah. It was long yes. Which was sad. Very sad to see the, the pilot inside the seas. You have to fly from the Isle of Wight to, to Shannon to meet his engine the Red Hill. And also, they say in Sarsfield, when Sarsfield uh, was going to Belenisa to blow up the sea strain, the Willow White sea strain, uh, that his pipe died in the Red Hill. Well, that's the highest hill the old people say yes. that. Well, it was through the light of the numbers. They, they used to claim that uh, where he was building any, that the ground was, uh, grass was green then. Yeah. So I looked for the green grass up in the head of the green, never come across it. As, as uh, the young fellow, they put a little off the up and look for it. Mm. Uh, all the notes that were kept and written for London in the Fosman House during the, during the Civil War. Which was an awful piece of everything on that they hit. And got them home and all those that we got the reason. And the people that were oppressed people, the ones that were fighting for, for their rights. And all we took the smoke in the in the first months of the world, where the IRA lived during the Civil War. So a lot of the stuff we have is only handed down from <coughs> the family to someone.